Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? This is a new way I'm going to do these hut videos. Uh, I'm going to just put them up into little clips and commentate over them. So here we got a first game against a guy named The Filth. Uh, and the first goal here was unreal play by Duchesne. Look at these some poke checks here. One. Then he gets another one past the defenseman all the way up to the big man Chara. I was like, oh god, Chara's got no hands. But I just did the old one-two and top shelf on Rene. I thought that was pretty pretty nice. Put me up one nothing. Then we have another chance here, all the way up to Gabrick, and he's a spinorama all the way over to Crosby. Perfect pass, but I get absolutely robbed by Pekka Rene. That was crazy. This guy had a pretty stacked team. Uh, I didn't really play that great, but and his big guy, Tyler Myers, scores. So two goals by two giant def defensemen. I thought that was pretty crazy. And look at this hit by Latang. Boom. i going to show it three times. Boom. And again, boom. Rewind that. Go watch that. That was crazy. So that's the end of the f first period, I believe, or the, s the second. I'm pretty sure it's the first. So pretty even game so far. So yeah, that's the end of that, and we jump right into overtime, actually, here. Uh, nothing really happened in the in the, the rest of the game. So dying seconds overtime, I stretch all the way up, and Duchesne tries to get it, but I try to go to the, to the superb man, but that never works. So jump all the way to the shootout now. We have Rick Nash first. I'm going to show you guys the whole shootout. Here we go, top cheese. I was like, what? Oh, it looks over the line, but it's not quite there. As you can see, it just hits the crossbar and goes just trickles down. It looked in. I tried to go to the replay right here, but I was like, oh, I gotta get the, the next shot. So I just had to do a quick old flying poke check, and he had no chance there. So nice save by Mr. Cam Ward. I really recommend Cam Cam Ward. Uh, here's Sidney Crosby, a little behind the back, or one, two, and backhand. I like say always go backhand. It always works. Go always don't usually expect backhand. It works nine times out of ten for me. And I give this guy a little bit of room, and he thinks, oh, he can he can make the shot. Just gets a quick, easy save there for Cam Ward. And he, I thought that would have counted. I was like, what? No way. So here we go. Chara scored once in the game. See if he can get another one in the shootout. Clapper? Not today. Pekka Rene says no. So uh, we is, he has to score here, or else we get the win. Here he comes. What's going to happen? Cam Ward with the big save. So there's a victory. We won 2-1 in the shootout. It's a pretty good game, pretty even. The guy had a pretty decent team, so that was pretty good. Okay, guys, right after that 2-1 win, I jump in here to my team. I make a little change. I put Daniel Sedin on the right wing where he belongs, uh, and I put the speedster Matt Duchesne on the left wing. i got to change him to a left wing card. Um, I really like that line. It's a pretty solid third line. And here's the trade pile of everyone that I bought for under 300 pucks. And they made some profit on those guys. So that's kind of cool. It's always good to make pucks. I'm going to make a how to make pucks and how I do it v video. Uh, there's some players got to put up still. I decide, you know what, 64K, I'm going to try this one more time at the 99 Crosby. EA really robbed me of my pucks here. Uh, over 100K for sure to try to get this Crosby. So I go here with the Malkin, and you guys will never believe what I get. Here we go. Get ready for it. Yep. You seen it, absolute shit, <laughs> just like always. So I jump into a game here against a guy named Ivan the Bad. Uh, he's pretty good. I have made tr a couple trades with him before actually, and he gives me an early power play. But he's actually the one who capitalizes. Uh, Giroux takes a penalty. He did this all game. He went all the way up to the hash marks, gave it to the defense, and boom, sucked my goalie right in. And that was a, a sweet move. Uh, he did that all game, and that was Burns with the goal for him. And here, Crosby, along along the boards, poke checks it out, picks his pocket, and goes 1-2. Not going to miss from there. Uh, Crosby's been really clutch for me. He's definitely worth the pucks. He's worth a lot, but uh, he's definitely worth it. If I can go back, I don't know if I would do the same, but yeah, he was worth a lot. And here is, he's making saves, and here's a pretty big hit. I, I lay on him. Oh, I like to put one big hit from each game. Last was the Latang. I love the big hits in this game. Uh, Shea Weber can really hit, and here he is again trying to do that thing with the defense. He was doing it all game. Recommend you guys try it out. Uh, so yeah, that is the end of the first period, I believe. Uh, first or the, the second. I'm pretty sure that's just the first. It was a pretty d defensive game. I uh, We have pretty even teams. 
He's got a good team. Yeah, it's the second intermission. It's on a small screen. I can't really see. Yeah, it is the second intermission. So we jump into the into the third here. It's a pretty defensive game. Um, we jump right in here. He had a pretty good team as well. Uh, I've seen his team there, Giroux. And here's the speed from Duchesne. Dips doodles around everyone and just gets bumped off the pucks. That was un unfortunate. I thought I could get one there. He is super, super fast, though, for... I mean, o you know, only being 92, I shouldn't say that, but he is so fast. Uh, so here's a nice pass from Bobby Ryan to Jonathan Taze, and that gives me a 2-1 two one uh, adv advantage with just under five minutes left. And I think he knew he was going to lose here, so he kind of gave up. Uh, I'm going to show you the last 30 seconds here and just talk about this. So tell me if you guys like this new way of doing it. I uh, It's easier for me because I do stutter and I... Uh, not the best commentator yet at all whatsoever it's it's pretty bad but um yeah so hopefully you guys enjoy this much better than the live commentary because if i screw up in this i can just edit it out and uh and i can i can fix it if it's a live commentary i can't which is kind of which kind of sucks but uh yeah so here i am here on a two on oh pretty much he just tries to do a flying poke check. I don't know what he was doing. And Jonathan Taze gets another one. So that's two goals for Taze, and that's a 3-1. And that's how the game would end. We won 3-1, so we're 2-0. Uh, for future episodes, I'm going to put three or four games in. Then I'm going to do like a three-star thing, who I thought played the best out of the three games. Just changed up a bit. There's a guy uh, who also does this. His YouTube is uh, Tactics HD. I don't know if any of you guys are subscribed to him. You guys should go check him out. He does this. He calls it The Road to Glory. And... Uh, he does this really good. He's a much better commentator th than I am, of course. But, uh, yeah, he does it really, really good, and he's my inspiration for this, I guess. He's the one who uh, you know, kind of introduced me to the way of doing it this this way. So what should I name this uh, s little mini-series here? Tell me, and I will credit you with it. So thanks for watching. Sorry, I kind of got cut off there at the end. Uh, I'm still really new to all this editing and stuff, but uh, bear with me. And what should I call the series here? Um, I will credit you with the name if you can give me a decent one. So thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, so just bear with me. I know the commentary isn't that great, but I'm trying to get better at it. I'm trying to go and go into it being more calm and stuff. Uh, but it is new to me, so I'm just trying to feel it out. So thanks for watching. And uh, drop me a like. It helps me out. And subscribe. Thanks.